We are now entering the second module of this course where we are going to discuss a number of things related to one way or another the interface of computers and information networks with ethics. One of the important considerations here is if there is anything unique that such networking and such machinery presents to the human experience so that we are at a loss as to how to proceed thinking about what way to proceed in a moral sense, which is to say the focus of this module is on the issue of whether or not computers, computer technology poses anything unique or significantly unique that there is some genuinely new ethical issue or new approach needed to ethical reflection and moral decision making. There are some who think that there is indeed nothing new and all that we are facing are the traditional issues human beings have faced for probably as long as we live together in groups concerning truth telling and cheating, maybe theft and harming one another. And the presence of computers is uh, nothing to be taken into particular account. It's old behaviors thought about in new ways, but the new ways are not significantly new or different. Then there are those who think that computers and information networks present human beings with possibilities before unimagined. They expand the human potential, our ability to do things, and indeed that quantitative change produces qualitative changes that now humans are capable of and must consider whether or not to do things which before were not within the realm of possibility so no need to be considered. Not only are people considering uh, these possibilities but some having acted on them have presented humans with experiences which on reflection uh, prompts the serious consideration of whether or not those behaviors, those acts were morally correct or incorrect. Were they something that we should permit and allow and maybe even encourage to be repeated or are some things that we should avoid and discourage? So the topic of this module, Computers and Ethics, is on the interface of the two. We're not yet deep into ethical principles and dialectical thinking nor are we deep into the range of things that computers pose as ethical issues. We're just beginning to examine the relationship of the two together. So think about your experiences with computers and the information networks that depend on computing machinery and how have they presented you uh, with any dilemmas or how have they raised in your awareness situations that have prompted you to reflect is that right or not uh, humans have never had to deal with this before and now I'm faced with deciding is this right or wrong